Greetings Twin Flames, this is Lucida of Twin Flame RX and I'm here to bring you the monthly reading for Twin Flames and those on the path toward divine love for April 2017. So first of all, I'd like to thank all of you that follow me on Twitter and Pinterest and also those that have liked, shared and subscribed and commented to this YouTube channel and to the videos here. Thanks also to those that have gotten private sessions with me about their beloved. I welcome all of you to follow me on Twitter, follow this channel by subscribing, and also connect with me at the link below for live private chat readings with me about any questions that you may have, including those about your beloved and also my channeled heart to heart conversation between yourself and your beloved. So the first thing that I want to do is a Salt Across Tarot spread with the Tarot of Love deck by Marsha Perry. Okay, so asking the divine for messages of what is to come, what the energy will be like between the twins over the next month or so period of time. So this reading is valid for you whenever you watch it. It's a general reading for Twin Flames, whether you have just realized that you're on the Twin Flame path or whether you have connected with your beloved in the fifth dimension and are now waiting to connect with them in the third dimension or whether you have connected in the third dimension and are in some sort of separation or low communication phase and you may be in union and now striving for deeper union and commitment with your beloved take what resonates with you from the message and remember that i am available for more detailed readings as well all right, so I'm cutting the deck and the energy at the bottom of the deck card is the Princess of Nuggets. So the Princess of Nuggets, that is an important energy for this month. This means first erotic happiness and love, first fulfillment, a need for tenderness, the wish to receive previous happiness. So if you're watching this now, this might mean that you are, you are looking for something that you once had with your beloved to come back into the picture and this is spring a great time for reawakening so hopefully that does happen so the situation that you find yourself in right now is the four of lightning so this is similar to the four of swords in the rider weight tarot deck what we see here is the world, and we see two individuals, it looks like feminine and masculine energies, holding lightning rods, one each, and then two that come from the divine. So this is a very, very interesting card. It's letting us know that we have power. Lightning symbolizes power, and this power comes from the divine, but we connect to the divine through each other and create another energy as well so this is a really interesting uh, way to start the reading i'm going to look in the book because this book has special meanings for each card this says securing one's happiness against external claims irritations and dangers so that's what you're going to be doing this month making sure that nothing gets between you and your twin, whether it be in the third dimension or the fifth dimension. An obstacle or an impetus here is the Ten of Blossoms. So this is like the Ten of Cups in the Rider Waite Tarot deck, and we know what that means. The Ten of Cups is what we strive for, ultimate abundance and happiness. And up here we see two birds, and it sort of looks like a yin and yang as well that are connected here with the setting sun. So we have a beautiful energy here. So what we want, what is driving us forward 
is that connection with our beloved. Okay, and it could be considered an obstacle because it shouldn't be the only thing that we're striving for on this path. We should also be striving for oneness within ourselves and oneness with the divine. So the union is not with our beloved is not the only reason we're on this path. So we need to remember that this month. The crowning energy is the two of nuggets. So this is a give and take relationship in the natural earthly world. Nuggets are coins or pentacles in the Rider Waite tarot deck. So this is um, basically saying that this month we're going to start to see that some of what we have given in the relationship between ourselves and our beloved will be reciprocated. So that's a really good energy to be in. And what we have to work with is the king of nuggets. So it looks that a masculine figure, the king of nuggets, um, this type of energy will be driving interactions between ourselves and our beloved this month. So the king of nuggets is very secure in his belongings and his possessions and he's ready to give. He's looking like he would like to offer what he has. So that could be the divine masculine coming forward toward the divine feminine because many of us that watch these videos are divine feminines that are waiting for their divine masculine to make their move, waiting for them to do their healing, waiting for them to, you know, come toward us. So hopefully that's what that means. It could mean a lot of different things, but that's what I take it to mean. Um, in the very recent past, what we have is seven, compass companionship. So if you've experienced any type of physical connection with your beloved, you know that it's a joyous, blissful experience. I know for myself, with my beloved, any time that we're together, everything else doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. And so a lot of the times when we have a conflict, it would, it would be when we weren't together and because we weren't together. So remembering that companionship that you share or wanting that companionship, that is what we desire. We want to be physically reunited with our divine counterpart. With the seven here, we also notice that this is the number of the divine, of heaven. So... It's a message letting us know that we have been connected with our beloved, maybe not in this lifetime for some of us physically, but some of us have been physically connected. And so that's a connection as well as a spiritual connection. And remember that they're always with us. Their energy is always with you. Um, so when, if you ever feel lonely, just know that your beloved's energy is always there with you. Their spirit is always there with you in the, in the fifth dimension, in the 5D. But, you know, that's a way to get your connection in the 3D manifesting is if you connect with them in the fifth dimension. Okay, so in the near future, we have the three of lightnings. So the three of lightnings is a spectacular card here because, look, we see... Feminine and masculine energies looking up to the divine. We have the divine sparks within each of us. And then the creation of that third energy. We see a triangle here. And then this connection to the divine again. So this is a really good looking um, omen for the near future. It also in the booklet says flaming passion. So that's what we have to look forward to with our beloved this month is flaming passion. So great. Um, how we feel about this connection is the Prince of Blossoms. We feel like we're in love. We feel happy. We want to sing and dance about it. We love our beloved and we love life. How others see us is the Four of Nuggets and they see us as having it all pretty much. So having a relationship, someone they're holding our hand, so that's us with our beloved, and then just feeling financially stable with the four uh, nuggets there. Let's see what the book might say extra about that. 
the four of nuggets is sound and safe relationship is what um, others see when they see us together with our beloved. Or if they, you know, don't see us together, they can feel that it's a safe relationship from the energy that it gives off. Okay, so here is our hopes and fears card, the six of nuggets. So we're hoping for a sensuous, romantic love where we have outer success and inner fulfillment and a balance. So you can see this is the balance. So equal footing in the relationship, equal footing in the 3D. So that's what we hope for. And the outcome for the month is the King of Lightnings. So the king of lightnings is passion. It's He's the king of swords in the Rider Waite tarot deck. And the king of swords energy is very passionate. Um, so the king of lightnings in this deck represents a vehement, vehement, sorry, sex urge and pleasure and experimentation, possibly also a longing for it. So spring is in the air and the energy is going to make us be feeling very sexual and wanting our beloved in the physical. Okay, so hopefully we will be able to be with them in the physical. The energies are driving us forward toward that. The next cards that I wanted to bring out are the romance angels. So I wanted to bring out a message for different groups of twins. So a message from the Romance Angels about your beloved. If you are new on the Twin Flame path and wondering you know, when you might be encountering or what you should look for regarding your beloved in the fifth dimension. All right, so the Romance Angels message is this. Oops, new love. Wow, that's pretty fitting. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So either within this month or in the near future, you're going to know that your twin flame is someone new, not someone already in your life. Okay, so those that have encountered their twin flame in the fifth dimension but are now waiting for meeting them physically in the third dimension, what message, romance angels, do you have for them? For the month of April 2017 wedding this situation involves marriage so those of you that haven't met your twin in the third dimension but you are encountering them in the fifth dimension the romance angels want you to know that everything occurs in divine timing and therefore if you want this to get to the point of a wedding you have to let it play out in divine timing but that your twin flame will be the person that you end up marrying. But if you're already married, that might be a little bit of an issue. So the thing is, if you're hearing voices, noticing signs and synchronicities and having dreams about someone and connecting with someone in the fifth dimension, this person is meant for you, meant to be your life partner. Okay, let's see what kind of message the Romance Angels have for those of us that are twin flames who have encountered their twin in the third dimension, but now are in some sort of separation because of, you know, miscommunication or needing to heal or whatever the situation may be. What kind of message Romance Angels do you have for us? And I'm in this boat right now. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Oh boy. So I'm not really sure what um, to make of this, except that, you know, there is a reason why we're in separation is what I'm getting from this, that we're in separation from our beloved because of something that needs to be healed either within us or within them or both. So there's a reason for that. I'm going to pull a clarifier card for that message because it's not very straightforward, like what the red flag could be. Um, hmm. So looking for a good clarifier deck here. I'll just pull another Romance Angel card. 
So we should pay attention to the red flags that we noticed in the past and those in the present and those in the near future so we could understand further why we're in separation from our beloved so that we can heal those wounds because we don't want to go back and have cycle after cycle with them. Okay, so we have the message, true love for us that are in separation. This is the romance of a lifetime. So just know that, that there is a separation for a reason. And just like the twins that are waiting to meet their beloved in the third dimension, we have a reason why we're, you know, in the separation because it is a true romance of a lifetime, but it can only develop if we allow it to develop in the way that the divine has it set up for us in the way that we've orchestrated it before coming here. So remember that you and your beloved created this blueprint, created this plan of how things would go. So don't be upset with them and don't be upset with yourself. Just Try to hang in there throughout this month and try to work on yourself for the things that that you know that you could do better in the future when you do get back into contact with them. Here's the card for those already in union that are looking for a deeper union, possibly more of a commitment or a shared mission. The romance angels say this. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so what I feel that this means is that you called in your beloved. They're here. And now in order to keep things together, stay positive. Pray. Use positive affirmations to get your union to where you want it to be. To make it stronger and stronger and to keep you together. And with that, I also want to... Um, pull an Archangel Michael card for the month for all twin flames because Archangel Michael is the angel that protects twin flames. He also is there to help us stay in union, stay connected, helps us clear negative cords between ourselves and others, helps us clear any baggage or anything that is blocking us from being with our beloved and pr just protects us from negative energy. So Archangel Michael, what is your message for us twin flames this month of April 2017? Archangel Michael's message is God is in charge. And the prayer is, dear God, please help us to let go of the situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Many blessings to you, Twin Flames. Have a wonderful month of April. Namaste.